There's a reason why Florence Pugh isn't just famous for her acting. She's famous because of her personality, because of how charming she is. And I wanted to break that down. I wanted to see what is going on with this person. Like, how is she captivating people so easily? What is her thing? And that's what I try to do in every episode of Classic Charm. My name's Anthony Resinello. I'm a social and relationship coach living in Los Angeles, and I've been doing this for the past 15 plus years. My life is all about interactions with other people, social skills, relationships. And one way that I learn how to teach charm and social skills to others and to myself is by analyzing people that I find very charming. So the main thing that we're gonna focus on today with Florence is how she's able to just perfectly balance ridiculousness with this kind of gracefulness. Now I talk about about balance when it relates to charm in these classic charm videos a lot. And the reason why is because balance is one of the most important aspects of charm. Now there's nine marks of a charming person, a lot of which are almost contradictory to each other. But if we're gonna generalize what this balance is in like a very simple way, we could say normalcy and deviance. Every human expresses both at different times. Some people are very, very deviant, not very normal, and they come off weird when they're interacting with people, come off a little too much. Now on the opposite side of the scale, if somebody's too normal, they don't show a lot of deviance, well, they're boring, they're not very interesting, they're not very fun, but at least you're able to see that they have good values, they're a good person, they're not weird. Charming people just have this sixth sense for knowing how to balance this deviance and this normalcy so it comes out just perfectly. Now obviously nobody just comes out of the womb this way, it takes practice knowing where that line is. Now the way that I've noticed Florence does this is her baseline is very just expressive, serious, passionate, interested, focused, and attentive. But then she likes to add a little spice in it. So at the start of like an interview, at the start of one of her like cooking with flow videos, she usually has some sort of like potty humor joke that she likes to throw in there. And she has to do it every time. Pointing to my vag. <laughs> There's not one video I watched of Florence where she was just serious and passionate, or she was just weird. Literally every time I see her, she's always sprinkling in her kind of weird bathroom humor. Now this LUK video is a great example where as soon as the video starts, she starts off weird, and then she gets right into talking about what she wants to talk about. She transitions into her passionate talk. My favorite emoji has always been the turd. The poo that smiles. <laughs> now here's some other good examples on her Instagram cooking show, Cooking With Flow. Notice how she's very straightforward when she's expressing herself and talking about how to make the food. But every now and then she'll just like make a weird voice. My word. She'll like dance around in a weird way, make a weird face. Yeah, I'm dancing with my homemade tzatziki, aren't you? And then she'll just go right back to talking about the recipe. And just grate that in on the fine side of your grater. Very normal, as if it never happened, too. Super confident with herself, super relaxed about her weirdness, super relaxed about that deviance, not acting like, whoa, sorry I did that. No, just like, this is part of my personality and this is part of my personality. So if you're gonna take anything from this video, that's like the number one thing, like you could use this in any situation. Now, where is that balance between deviance and normalcy for you? you just have to experiment with it. Sometimes maybe you'll go a little overboard and you'll be like, all right, maybe I'm being a little too weird now. Or maybe you're not being weird enough. Maybe you're not having fun enough. Keep trying to see where that line is. The more you practice, the more experience you get, you're gonna get really good at walking into a room, knowing what the situation is like, understanding what the vibe of the room is, and then quickly being able to calibrate your deviance and normalcy to that. For instance, think about the difference between meeting your your boyfriend, girlfriend's parents for the first time. How are you gonna act there? How much deviance are you gonna throw in? Then think about hanging out with your friends at a bar on the weekend. How much deviance are you gonna throw in there? Where's the balance between deviance and normalcy there? You always want to be showing both because if you remove one, everyone is gonna see you as unbalanced. So. Once again, if you're meeting your boyfriend or girlfriend's parents for the first time and you only show normalcy, no deviance, they're going to know something's up because somebody that shows no deviance, that's the person that's hiding the 
weird deviants, like the unlikable deviants, the unacceptable deviants. If you're openly showing your deviant side, sprinkling it into a conversation, people are in their mind going, okay, well, that's their deviance. Now, where did Florence learn this? I believe she learned it from her older brother as she was growing up. Listen to how she tells the story of as she was little, she would hang out with her brother and her brother's friends and she wanted to be one of them. I'm guessing that they had that sense of humor that she has today and she kind of adopted that into her personality. I was obsessed with being a tomboy. Oh, really? I really wanted to be a boy and I really wanted to wee standing up for many, many years of my life. My uh, my brother would have all of his boy mates around and I just used to love climbing in trees and being grubby with them. But this leads me to the next part I want to talk about. Florence has this incredible way of being incredibly feminine, but without trying to be, or without seeing it explicitly. In fact, I don't think Florence is trying to put on any persona, any character whatsoever. I noticed this in this Actors on Actors interview she had with Beanie Feldstein. She's never trying to be funny. She's never trying to be interesting. She's just expressing herself. And every now and then, if some weirdness just comes out, it does. She's not thinking thinking about it. And any type of calibration to the room that she's doing, it's all subconscious because she has that experience backing her up, guiding her without her even thinking so about it. Every single time you see Amy and Joe fighting, that's probably because either she came into work or I came into work and we were like, should we fight today? And then we were like, yes, great. <laughs> and this is what I love about charming people like Florence. They are the most authentic people in the world. And guess what? That's one of the marks to charm. That's one of the nine marks. But at the same time, I do believe that Florence is naturally gifted at expression. The earliest video that I could find of Florence Pugh is her doing a cover of Wonderwall on the guitar, singing. She has a great voice. And also notice how she does the cover in her own way. She doesn't sing it like Oasis sang it. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you. This shows me that, yes, you can learn to be charming, you could learn to be charismatic and expressive, but some people just have it better than others. Actually, I think Florence can be best summarized in this one little moment where she's trying these different British dishes. She's, she's like wearing this magnificent outfit while tr eating this magnificent food. And she ends up having like a little too much fun getting a stain on her dress. And it's like, all right, well, you're, you're being a little rowdy, right? But then lo and behold, what does she have in her purse? A fucking Tide pen to just instantly clean it up. It was just like the perfect summer of who Florence is to me. She could be a little bit of a mess, but she always counters it. She always balances it back to normal. And that's another thing. She's okay with mistakes. She doesn't get upset when mistakes happen. She doesn't get embarrassed when mistakes happen. She's very happy when mistakes happen and she'll fix them if she wants. It's all part of life. It's all part of who she is. That's also what's so attractive about her, that she's just okay with everything about herself. Another thing that's super, super important to talk about with Florence that she does that not a lot of people do is her interest in others is so real. Like for instance, she's getting interviewed on the set of this Marvel movie and she's with Scarlett Johansson. Whenever Scarlett's talking, you could see Florence is like attentively listening to her. She doesn't have to be, she's just in an interview. Most people are thinking about what they wanna say next or whatever, or their eyes are like kind of glazed over thinking about something while they act like they're listening to somebody. No, you could tell Florence is listening. She's attentive to everyone. And what is that called? It's a magic word called engaged. When you're present, when you're attentive to whatever's in front of you at any given moment, that's called being engaged. And guess what? That is another mark of charm. It's having a special interest in others. Truly loving people, truly loving the people that you're interacting with at any time. Truly believing that every single person that you interact with is important, is beautiful in their own way. This shows how confident you are as a person. Because if you're negatively judging a lot of people around you every day, it's communicating to others that you're probably not living a good life. Why are you around all of these bad people? Florence is the opposite. Everyone she's around, she really cares for, she really likes. Now that doesn't mean that 
if she sees some bullshit happening, she's not gonna call it out. That doesn't mean that she sometimes doesn't like people. That's not what I'm getting at. It means that when she's meeting somebody, when she's talking to somebody, she's giving them the attention that they deserve. Another part of being engaged is how you react to them. Notice how when she's interacting with Scarlett in this video, she's being very huggy, very touchy, very jokey, very delightful. She's just a delightful person. Now, if you want to learn more about being engaged, about charm, about the absolute foundations of it, I wrote a new book. It's called The God Pill. You can get the link in the description. I've been working on this book basically all my life. It's what guides me every day when I wake up in the morning. It's basically my Bible for how to live, not just how to be charming with others, but also just how to be happy, how to be confident, and in a healthy, way, not a fucking toxic, fucked up red pill way. In fact, it's called the God pill because I wanted to show that you could actually transcend any red pill philosophies if you're learning that type of thing. Another one of the nine marks of charm is being quick witted and Flo has this. A great example is one of her cooking with Flo videos. Here, let me just show you. Pop them in a bowl and then you're going to put your onions. If you don't like all the onions, then don't put all the onions. You're gonna put some of your onions in there, and then we're gonna do the same with garlic. It's gonna be delicious. Don't kiss anyone. Or do. It'll be very, uh... People will know that you're coming. She's talking about garlic and how much garlic you should use in the recipe. And it's actually good if you want to use too much garlic because uh, people will know that you're coming. And like that little joke, it's just like improv mastery. She does not have to be that quick witted, but she is, she's Florence Pugh. So what I hope you take from this video is learning that balance between deviance and normalcy, ridiculousness and gracefulness, and starting to build some experience for yourself of learning where that perfect line is when you're interacting with others. This is the difference between just like a very charismatic, very kind of like loud, funny, wild person, somebody that's kind of unbalanced, and then a very charming person, somebody that's perfectly balanced when you meet them and everything just seems to fit into place. So who do you want the next classic charm video to be about? Put it in the comments. I'm gonna be looking at them. I'm gonna be looking at the most liked comments and that's gonna help guide me to decide who I wanna make a video about next.